the easiest way for me to demonstrate what it would be like for a dog with a restricted breathing passage, like what the pugs or bulldogs have, is to show you how to simulate it in your own nose. That's why I have this gross view of myself right now. So what you want to do is breathe in, feel the air moving in easily through your nostrils. Then, and it's hard to show you, but just put a little bit of pressure on it. That puts a tremendous amount of force and decreases the amount, the ease at which the air goes up your nostrils. And that's what a bulldog or pug might feel. In fact, it causes so much interference in their breathing that it'll, in the back of the throat, it will cause. sacs in the back of their throat to come out right around where their their larynx is and will cause their trachea to collapse inside their lungs. So I wanted to show you how we might correct that in a bulldog so that they can breathe easier and not have these common abnormalities in their nose, in the back of their throat, or in their chest. Stomatic nares are when the nose is closed up just like it is right there you can see that these flaps and i'll show you in a minute but uh, these little flaps are like holding a straw closed and trying to suck air through it it really puts pressure on the whole respiratory tract so you can see down in there see how that passage the nasal passage is that's where the air flows so if, the, if when they breathe in, this closes up and then you hear this. So we want to get rid of that obstruction. That's just an obstruction to airflow. So we cut like that, kind of a fake cut because I already did, but I just wanted to show you. That's the, look at that piece take out of there. It's a pretty big piece. That's the flap that holds the nose closed that we don't want in there. And the nose is very bloody. You guys know that. I mean, look at that one. See, same thing. It really opens up that whole area. I'm trying to take a skin suture. Go. Do the skin. And then uh, go underneath and get the place I cut. And then. Um, Trying to draw that edge together. It's gonna lay it there. I don't want it real tight. I just kind of want to hold the edge a little bit closer together so there's less scar tissue and less problems. So, so you can see now this 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 nose that I'm suturing up has got a lot less blockage to it. So you can see our patient's uh, nose is much wider as he sits there and surveys the clinic. You can see he's a little drowsy and licking at a little bit of uh, irritation up in his nose. Usually it takes a couple uh, weeks for that to heal up, but they don't bother it. There is actually two uh, surgical procedures for this. Uh, there's the one I use, which is the ALAR amputation, and also there is a wedge resection that um, you can do. Uh, sometimes if the constriction isn't as severe, uh, you, I use the wedge resection and move the whole nostril over. You saw an amputation here. Uh, because there was a quite a bit of, I felt there was quite a bit of tissue there to remove, so I just amputated it. Anyway, um, they say in the research up to 50% of uh, pugs and bulldogs and Bostons uh, can have the stenotic nares. And what that will do was it will, it will continually put pressure on the trachea and the folds of the larynx, the vocal folds. And the trachea, I already said trachea, and it'll wear down and make the trachea collapse um, as well as uh, cause the vocal folds to come out and put unneeded stress on the 
breathing apparatus. When that happens, animals can develop uh, bronchitis easier. Uh, they, their lungs don't work as effectively. And as you saw in the first part of the video, we would neither. If you get a chance, uh, go to my website, Dog Dish Diet. And if you want to uh, learn more about dog nutrition, you can pick up Dog Dish Diet, which you'll see on the website. I have a new book called Dog Diet Answer Book. And if you Google that, you see that that's available coming May 1st.